Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. So this is another exciting tutorial for you where you will be learning how to create a heat map in Power BI. Now when I say heat map, a lot of people don't really understand what does a heat map do, what are its functionalities. So basically I'm going to explain how does, is it going to help you as well. So for example, uh, you see a matrix table over here wherein I have year and the sales by month. So when you look at this particular table, I'm sure you will not be able to tell any story apart from just seeing the numbers over here and then you will have to look very closely to see okay January we have 14,000 sales and then 4,000 sales in February and then slowly it picks up uh, over the year. Now what if uh, the heat map visual gives you an insight into it where you can very clearly tell a story about the particular data that you are trying to analyze. What I mean by this is let me show you uh, the heat map visual over here. So when you look at this particular visual over here, the red color or the oranges that you see over here are indicating that the sales numbers are less and the green is indicating that the sales value is very high. So when you look at this particular visual over here, when compared to this, you can very clearly tell a story that from January onwards until August or July, your sales number are very less, especially in the first three, four months over here, the sales values are really less in the first two months, first two months of, of the year. And then it slowly starts to pick up. And then in the last four years, the sales numbers are quite high. Right? So you can see this, you can compare these two visuals right over here and see how good of a visual this is and how easy it is to tell a story when you have a heat map something like this. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. So let's get started. So I have the uh, plain visual over here, which I'm going to transform it into the heat map visual. So what we need to do is we need to go to the, uh, so what I have over here, basically I have my ear in the um, rows and I have month in my columns and I have my total sales. That's that's all that I have on this particular table over here. What I will do is I will go to total sales and then click on conditional formatting and then background color. So when you go over here, you will see a format style of gradient applies to values only. And then this is the total fields. All of this is automatically selected. Now, what you need to make changes is somewhere over here where it says minimum and maximum. So let Power BI decide what's the lowest value and the highest value based on the data. And then we only need to change the colors over here. For example, uh, when I talk about red, let's say I, I want to use this particular red over here. And then I need a diverging color or a middle color over here. So I'm going to keep this to this particular orange over here. Or you can go and change the color to whatever that you would like. That will look good. Let's go ahead with uh, sort of this color. And then the highest value, let's keep that as green. So let's go to green and select green over here. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like and maybe you want a little brighter green, you can do that as well. Okay, and then let's click on okay. So you will see that automatically we have all of these values highlighted in green. So if you see here the, the highest value which is 118k has been highlighted in dark green over here. Likewise, the lowest value which is 4520 is highlighted in dark red. If you don't have the uh, heat map visual something like this or, or uh, conditionally formatted something like this it is difficult to take difficult to tell which is the lowest number and which is the highest number now with this particular heat map functionality it becomes easier for you to tell a story especially to your uh, leadership team right uh, so Power BI as such does not have an inbuilt uh, heat map visual, but this is an alternative way to create a heat map visual in a matrix table within Power BI. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this video helpful. You've learned something, you've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.